So um, when planning out the bathroom, I thought it was very important to have a scale diagram. So I mocked one up on some squared paper I had handy. And then I mocked you. <laughs> don't look, don't look. Oh, okay. So, don't, oh, I'll I'll show you. Oh, it's the fun thing. Okay, so, I made these little squares to be all the different size showers and the prices for reference to t try and help me decide what to do. And I made all these other pieces of paper so I could move them around the space to see how everything fitted. And then I was like, oh, I've got some extra time and I'm trying to avoid some different chores. So I made this. You may notice <laughs> that it's a fajita box, <laughs> but it's also the perfect shape of a narrow boat. So this is obviously the door into out of the into the bathroom, just like here. And then I even did the little gunnel at the side. And then I had to make a shower, toilet, a toilet. <laughs> I want a washer dryer <laughs> or a washing machine. And look, this little sink, which actually looks like our little corner sink. Yeah, so I made to, and um, this was a mock cupboard, but I didn't have enough cardboard to make the doors dry. <laughs> so we're going to make some doors that don't beat. Because I didn't find that this other diagram was that helpful. But in the end, after the mockery I received. I didn't mock you, I was impressed. Um, this actually takes up a lot of room in the boat, in, and um, so we're having to throw it away. <laughs> yeah, but so we, we can't keep the scale dropped this, because the scale's not good enough. We can't keep the scale but, model. But we can show you from the scale model of what our plans are. Well, no, just from this diagram here. <laughs> so this is the. <laughs> I like this one. Is this one? I'm still in on this one. So this is the final diagram. As you can see, we've got the. Um, there's the door out into the lounge room and there's the door in from the kitchen and so we're going to have a quadrant shaped shower 800 by 800 that's going to fit here that the waste isn't going to go there it's going to go there um, these lines here that's where the floor is this outermost line is the gunnel line and then this one is where the roof is so as you can see there's a slight gap there between the new edge that we're going to put up for the shower and the um, wall so that's going to we're going to use that for shelving then we're going to buy um, a composting toilet and that's going to be um, go next to it. Then over on the other side where we've currently got our ginormous sink and sh storage unit, we're going to take that out, get a small wash basin with a little cupboard underneath and put a washing machine in. And then we're talking about maybe putting a cupboard up to the ceiling on maybe half of that so we've still got some space for Anna to put all her toiletries. And the kitty litter, because it's the cat's bathroom as well. Hopefully the kitty litter is going to fit down here. Yeah. Or we'll put it down here. Yeah, because they like to go the same time as us. Yeah. Cool. But my tip to anybody that's doing any kind of work like this, is a scale diagram is really helpful, yeah. as much as your other half may mock you. I did mock you. But um, I think it's really valuable, because then you can really see, see how everything's going to fit in. True. And the next thing that I like to do is to get masking tape and mask out the floor where things are gonna go because then you can see how easy it is to navigate around them. And then you might end up going back to the drawing board to to buy a smaller shower. Yes. <laughs> but we're not, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so now we're off to buy some stuff to do some work. So we just sawed that new piece and I'm not looking forward to repainting that old piece, honey. No, I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, cool. Good. good idea when it goes on properly. Okay. Um, I'm just using it to measure for my final piece. Oh, I forgot to bring my pen in. Oh no. Can you get it for me? So this is the end of our fourth or fifth full day of renovations. We don't know. Can't remember. 
um, we've had a mixed day. We had a really good day. We made a lot of progress. Yeah. Um, behind us is the new panelling that I've just put up. Um, we need to do some work with the trim and, and everything, but I'm relatively happy We recycled with that. that bit of ply over there, so that's going to be sand. Well, it's going to be stained. stained. Yeah. Um, we've done some cutting in for around the side and we have begun <laughs> and we have begun to paint inside as well yeah so um still loads left to do um hopefully tomorrow we're going to get the um shower partition wall up maybe oh yeah that would be nice I doubt we'll get that done because we need to paint behind it first. And then we need the shower tray, the splash back, the plumbing and the enclosure. Yep. And then we want to knock out the sink, get a new sink and a washing machine. Yep. And do some more plumbing, run some electrical cables. Um, we need to put up a new light. We need to fix this wiring here behind me. <laughs> and show MBH that wiring. And show anybody that wiring. And show Kev that wiring. Um, but yeah, we're quite positive. Yeah. So now we're traipsing quite fun, off. actually. We're traipsing off for our showers because obviously we can't do it here anymore. Yeah. Stay so tuned. Stay tuned. Um, come back next week to see how far we've made it. Now it's going to be great. Mm -hmm.